The call to launch more starships is growing louder across the U.S. aerospace industry, and SpaceX has consistently demonstrated its readiness to meet that demand. However, the FAA and other regulatory agencies have introduced hurdles, leading to frustration among government officials. Recently, a congressman sent a formal letter to the FAA expressing concerns and urging the agency to make necessary adjustments. What were the key points raised by this congressman, and why are these changes crucial? for SpaceX and the Starship program. Let's explore this further in today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX's readiness to launch Starship is evident in nearly every phase of its operations. Recently, the next prototype Ship 31, intended for Flight 6, successfully completed a static fire test at the Flame Trench System, Trench Test System at the Massey Test Site. After facing electrical system issues during the cryogenic test in May, it has made a remarkable recovery, passing subsequent tests with flying colors. In the near future, it's expected to return to the production site to prepare for its wet dress rehearsal alongside Booster 13. Speaking of Booster 13, it completed its cryogenic test back in April and is set for two more crucial steps, a static fire test and the wet dress rehearsal. These preparations are expected to be completed swiftly as SpaceX remains efficient in pushing its hardware through the necessary testing phases. Alongside Ship 31 and Booster 13, the duo of Ship 30 and Booster 12 prepared for flight five are nearly ready for their wet dress rehearsal, marking another significant step toward future launches. This continuous preparation underscores SpaceX's ability to maintain a high launch cadence, ready to move forward pending regulatory approval. However, not everything is going as smoothly as SpaceX had hoped. In a previous episode, we reported on strong criticism from Congress, as well as industry leaders and numerous organizations regarding the FAA's regulations, specifically the delay of Starship Flight Five. However, despite the outcry, the FAA seems to remain steadfast in its position. According to the FAA's stance, SpaceX can proceed with Starship launches as long as they follow the same process as the previous flight. But this approach restricts Starship's development and impacts not only Flight 5, but also SpaceX's long-term plans and the future of U.S. aerospace. Recognizing the potential threat to national progress, Texas Congressman Keith Self recently announced on X, formerly Twitter, that he sent a letter strongly encouraging FAA Administrator Michael Whitaker to accelerate the agency's environmental review of SpaceX's project in Texas. He also affirmed, Texas must be allowed to continue to play a vital role in America's space enterprise. This tweet included the content of the letter in which Keith Self highlighted the importance of SpaceX's Starship program. He began by addressing its purpose. I write in regard to SpaceX's proposed Starship slash Super Heavy Vehicle increased cadence at the SpaceX Boca Chica launch site in Cameron County, Texas. He then emphasized the significance of Starship to the nation's global leadership. Our nation must maintain our commitment to leading the world in the responsible and constructive use of space through an innovative commercial industry, and U.S. leadership in this area is dependent on an agile, efficient regulatory system that promotes and enables rapid commercial innovation. A key point in the letter was the need to increase the frequency of Starship launches. Increasing the cadence of Starship launches from Starbase from 5 to 25 per year is critical to the development of super heavy lift and global mobility and logistics technology, as well as NASA's Artemis program to return American astronauts to the moon ahead of China. These concerns are well-founded. SpaceX has long been the standard bearer for maintaining the U.S.'s leadership in space. Thanks to its Falcon rockets and Dragon spacecraft. In the future, Starship will carry this responsibility. Congressman Self also pointed out the competitive threat from China, which is advancing quickly in its space endeavors, including ambitious plans to land a crew on the moon and establish a lunar base. Only SpaceX, with its ability to rapidly iterate and launch, can currently ensure that the U.S. stays ahead. This is why the proposal for 25 launches per year from Starbase, along with plans for 44 flights in Florida, is crucial. However, environmental and regulatory regulatory hurdles are causing delays, exacerbated by recent controversies, including those involving SpaceX and CNBC. Congressman Self candidly addressed these challenges, stating, As a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, I have seen the risks our national security space enterprise faces from well-organized, state-backed competition that operates without oversight or respect for the environment both here on Earth and in space. We are unable to restrict or regulate our adversaries. We can only 
out innovate them. His letter underscores the FAA's pivotal role in advancing U.S. leadership in the commercial space sector, especially as it pertains to Starship. Self expressed his disappointment with the FAA's approach. I am disappointed that the FAA appears to have been swayed by false narratives from the national media despite the FAA's own environmental assessment that makes clear that the 25 annual launches and landings of its Starship Super Heavy launch vehicle at Starbase will result in no harm to the environment. Our national security cannot afford to let incorrect information delay American innovation. This issue extends beyond just the Flight 5 delay. Several months ago, the FAA announced it was reviewing SpaceX's proposal to increase launch frequency at Starbase and planned to hold a public meeting. However, following various debates and the CNBC incident, the meeting was canceled, causing widespread frustration. In closing, Keith Self urged the FAA to take swift action. I strongly encourage your agency to quickly approve SpaceX's proposal to increase their launch cadence at Starbase from 5 to 25 launches a year. Following the release of this information, it garnered significant attention. Musk responded briefly to two tweets, mentioning Congressman Self's letter, saying, much appreciated and cool. These short replies reflect Musk's growing frustration with the FAA, especially in light of recent fines against SpaceX's Falcon rockets. Personally, I fully support the views expressed by Congressman Self in his letter. What about you? Do you agree? If so, type agree in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on SpaceX's journey, especially concerning the Starship program and the FAA. Now, when it comes to the FAA, a, there's growing reason to question their decisions, particularly when it comes to bias toward certain companies. Musk himself has pointed this out recently, drawing a direct comparison between how the FAA handles SpaceX and Boeing's Starliner program. However, it's not just Boeing that raises concerns. There's another company even more relevant to the FAA and Starship. Blue Origin and their new Glenn rocket. Blue Origin's plans have seen a series of delays as well, with the rocket's debut mission being pushed back to November, carrying the Blue Ring payload, while their mission to launch NASA's Mars spacecraft, Escapade, has been rescheduled to the second flight in 2024. Despite these delays, Blue Origin is outlining an ambitious roadmap for New Glenn's future. Jarrett Jones, senior vice president for New Glenn at Blue Origin, shared during a panel at the World Space Business Week on September 16th that after the first two missions, the company plans to rapidly ramp up to 12 flights in 2025. If all goes well, they aim to double that cadence to 24 flights by 2026. But it's not just the frequency of launches that Blue Origin is focusing on. They're also targeting reusability, something SpaceX has pioneered. On their very first New Glenn launch, they plan to reach orbit and land the booster. This is a bold move, with CEO Dave Limp confidently stating that no one has ever achieved such a feat on their first flight. To prepare, Blue Origin recently unveiled their own drone ship earlier this month, signaling serious intent to establish a fleet of reusable rockets. Jones revealed that by the end of 2025, Blue Origin plans to have four boosters in rotation, and in the years to follow, they expect to build two to four more each year, with each capable of up to 25 flights. This aggressive roadmap clearly indicates Blue Origin's intention to compete with SpaceX, and interestingly, their plans might even start with New Glenn's debut flights potentially taking place before Starship Flight 5. Given this, it's hard to ignore the lack of FAA intervention in Blue Origin's case. Despite similarities in their operational cadence, only SpaceX appears to face significant regulatory hurdles. This raises a compelling question. Is the FAA and other agencies deliberately slowing SpaceX to give Blue Origin a competitive edge? At least for for now, the evidence leans in that direction. After all, following Blue Origin's delay of New Glenn's first flight, the FAA suddenly announced a delay for Starship Flight 5. This timing feels more than coincidental. The potential for such regulatory interference undermines the principles of fair competition, which could have serious implications for U.S. space leadership. If one company is being held back to benefit another, it could stifle innovation and hinder America's progress in space, especially in light of the competitive threats posed by other nations. So, while Blue Origin is gearing up for a series of launches with little regulatory resistance, SpaceX finds itself entangled in bureaucratic roadblocks. If this trend continues, it may not be the market or technology determining the future of U.S. aerospace, but rather agencies like the FAA. This kind of interference could have a lasting impact on America's ability to maintain its leadership in space, both in terms of commercial innovation and national security. As we wait to see the effects of the recent letter sent by Texas Congressman Keith Self, calling on the FAA to accelerate its
its review process for SpaceX, it's clear that the stakes are high. America's future position in space may depend not just on the technological prowess of companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, but on whether these companies are allowed to compete on a level playing field. Only time will tell whether the necessary regulatory changes will be made or if bias and bureaucracy will continue to hinder U.S. development and space dominance. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.